Hi, how's it going? Uh, and thanks to uh, the team here for inviting us back, and also thank you to our, uh, our staff, and of course, thank you to our shareholders. So this is, uh, we took this in October, we're up on site. Uh, this is our, our rake, uh, oh, sorry, Eagles RC rake, and that's drilling at Orient East. Uh, proper overview, uh, currently trading at 17 cents, market cap of $9 million, three and a half million in the bank, and my exec chairman is Anthony Riley. I'm the MD. Justin's the co sec, and we've got Bruce Gemmel as a technical advisor. So, project portfolio. We've built a portfolio of uh, attractive Australian critical mineral projects. So, we have got the Herbson project, five EPM and one uh, application. And we've got the Northern Base Mineral project, setting up in Northern Queensland. And we've got the Mount Reed Volcanics project down in Tassie. We used to have the Rookwood and the, and the Gold Project in central Queensland, but we've dropped those. We weren't going to spend any money on them. We did a review, dropped them. So we can focus on uh, Herberton, focus on Tassie, and it also leaves us space to bring other projects into the vehicle. So the Herberton Project, we've got about 330 square K of ground up in Herberton. This is a really, really high, really prospective area. Long history of mining. Tin was discovered in Herberton in 1880. There's approximately 2,500, 3,000 known small mines deposits in the area between Herberton and Mount Garnet. The whole region is called the Herberton Mineral Field. The majority of mines we marked for tin, obviously copper, silver lead zinc, antimony, indium, and gold. Minimal, minimal modern exploration. So we, we're the first company really to drill at Orient since the, 1880, uh, sorry, since the 1980s. So, what have we done to date? We listed in June 2023. We've, we've drilled about 6,000 meters at Orient, Orient West, Orient East, and we've also done a deep, uh, deep diamond drill hole at Orient. We've done, like everyone else, we've had a look at some antimony. We've got an antimony project up there as well. We've recently drilled there. We, the best result we got was 7 meters, 7.6% antimony. The rig has gone from uh, antimony wards to currently drilling at Orient East, then the rig's going to move to Orient West. So we've got some assays pending for Antony Reward, and plus we've done some reconnaissance mapping and sampling up in the area. So, Orient Project. This is our flagship project, and the best way to say about it, it's big. So we're looking at 6K, 6 square kilometers of veining alteration. What we think, what we have here, we have outcropping epithermal vein systems and spot works, likely with appropriate depth underneath. We believe the closest analogy is the, the Bolivian tin porphyry systems. So up here, we're drilling silver, lead, zinc mineralization. There's some, there's some antimony and some tin kicking around as well. Our focus is on the, the silver, lead, zinc, indium. So, Orient, what do we have? Orient West, Orient East, high-grade sulfide-rich veins up to 10 meters thick with, with a larger, lower-grade halo 30, 40 meters wide. You can see a couple examples of what we've got, what we've been drilling. Again, Orient East, Orient West. Uh, at shallow depths. So these systems outcrop, nice thicknesses. So these are good for open pit mining. Then we can follow the high grade cores at depth. So this is really, really good for us. Open pit mines, follow, follow the high grade underground. So this is, this is, this is a section through Orient West. So you see stack vein system, six veins in the section, nice thick intersections with high grade tracking at depth. We've drilled down to 300 meters vertical, the system's still open. So you can imagine this, come in, open pit, follow these high grades, follow, follow the high grades at depth. So where have we got to Orient West? We've defined, we've got a, a lower grade exploration target of 70 to 100 million ton. That's the black outline. We've got a higher grade core of 20 to 24 million ton at 110 to 120 silver equivalent. The white outline. So our main focus is on drilling out high grade core, turning this into a joint resource. We want to know, is this economically viable? Can we make money from our shareholders for mining this? And to and to understand this, we had to drill that out. So, but we're also focusing on Orient East. So currently, we're drilling Orient East. We did 10 RC holes there in a 
2023. We're back here, here again. The rig is currently drilling there. We've done 17 holes to date. The uh, samples are at the assay lab in uh, Townsville. We've got five more to go. When the rig's finished here, we're going to shift across to Orient East and start doing the infill drilling. Unfortunately, uh, the assay labs are uh, a bit slow at the moment because usually earlier in the year we were getting, we were getting our samples back on, on a two to three week basis. With the wet season coming up in northern Queensland, everyone's doing exploration before the wet comes. So the assay labs have been flooded for both ALS and Intercept in Townsville. The wait times have blown out to four to six weeks. Is, it is what it is. We just have to, we just have to live with it. So the objective of our, our drilling here, find an expiration target Orient East. Once we've got an expiration target here, we've got the expiration target here, we can look at how we develop the, the, two, depo the, the two deposits together. So to really give you an idea, uh, sorry, slide. Oh. I can see it on there, but it's not coming up. Anyway, the, Can you bring up that slide that's jumping? Oh, great. So, as I said, I was up there in October. And I was up there. We took the, we, we took uh, a lady from from mining .com up there. Are you up there, Shay Russell? Uh, many of you might know Shay. So she did some interviews on site. We took her around the site. So we are standing here on Orient 28. This is the, the most easterly hole we've drilled Orient West. So the system goes 600k that way. 1500k this way. So this down here is the high grade core of Orient West, and we're looking across at Orient East. So it's about a k to Orient East. This is where we did our first drill hole back in 2023. We got 38 meters, 100 meters of drill equivalent from 19 meters. Literally, we drilled it on the top of the hill. Top of the hill, great for strip ratios. So we've, we've been back, and the current, this, this is where we've been up here in the current drilling program. So we drilled a couple of scissor holes over here, and we're, we're drilling we're, we're drilling progressively down the hill and to the north, sorry, to the south and to the north. Two main vein systems at Orient East, tracking north-south and east-west. So hopefully the veins will come across to Orient West, where we have our current exploration target. We get another exploration target over there, then we move forward. So, so basically what we plan to do 2024, as I said, we've got the rig at Orient East, finished drilling at Orient East, then we're going to move the rig to Orient West and start the job reverse into a program at Orient West. We're going to demobilize at the end of November. As you remember last year, we had Cyclone Jasper come through at the start of December, so we don't want a rig on site in the Cyclone, so we'll get stung by uh, standby costs from the drillers. But during the wet, we'll look at, what, we'll look at the information we've got, then we'll come back in... Uh, 2025, complete the Orient West, drop resource infill drilling, commence infill drilling at Orient East, keep the drilling to confirm the high grade potential, bring it all together as an Orient conceptual study, come back and do the next phase of drilling at Antimony Ward and follow up the uh, exploration we've done at Boonman Bonanza. But really, I mean, why do you want to invest in Ultani? You know, we're here to make our shareholders money. I'm a shareholder, I know other shareholders. I want to look at the shareholders in their face and say, we've made you good money. So, you know, we can call this slide, you know, why buy shares in the comp in our company? I mean, that's why everyone's here. Everyone's at the conference to try and pitch the companies to you. And you have got to decide which companies you want to invest in and which companies are going to make you money. And no, that, those are always the same thing, unfortunately. So, five reasons to invest in Ultani. Experience management team, track record of value creation. We've been there, we've done it, we've done it before, and we'll do it again. Our projects are targeting the critical minerals required for clean energy technologies. Silver, copper, you know, we're, we're positioning ourselves in the, in the commodities in the future where we can see great value for our shareholders. We're advancing Orient, which we believe is Australia's largest silver engine discovery, and it's growing. We're fully funded to deliver our planned exploration program, and we believe that the exciting new solar will drive the share price. As I said, today we're 17 cents. If Phil's kind enough to invite us back here next year in November, perhaps we can sit down and have a conversation.
education state, hopefully the share price in November 2025 will be much higher than now. But I don't have a crystal ball, but all we can do is the best we can. Thank you.